So how do we learn to be rich? Because we're actually not very good at being rich or at feeling rich. Even rich people often live in a paradigm of scarcity. They want more. They think they would be happier if they had twice as much as they have now. If you have one million, you want two. If you have 10, you want 20. They still compete with houses or yachts or even football teams. A sense of abundance is the sense that you have more than you need and more that you'll ever need. And you don't actually need to own that much to have that feeling. You can be quite poor and still live from a paradigm of abundance. Because abundance is really having access to things. If I have access to all the food I could ever want, if I have access to all the books and films and literature and cultural content, if I have access to transportation and housing and opportunities, then I can feel rich without owning all these things. Ownership is very strange. If you own more than you can personally use, what do you own it for? We could even define being rich as stopping other people from using what you can't use yourself. If you have six houses or three cars, you can't live in six houses at the same time. You can't drive three cars at the same time. So you're just owning it so that somebody else cannot use it. And we have a very warped idea of what wealth is and being rich is. And if we could live in a paradigm of abundance, we would probably change what we mean by being rich. Because we've grown up in a paradigm of scarcity, we have never really learned to be rich. What would it take for you to feel rich, to be rich?